everybody. This is Ray Jr. Comic Book Fanatics uh, coming at you with a video. Um, it was going to be a eBay haul. Uh, you know I like the eBay. Uh, I got a couple of good books. And then, um, um, let's see, how can I say this? Um, some books that uh, my boy Manny NYC, he had got signed for me and doing a, a couple of extra books because uh, he was trying to get some signatures for me. He couldn't get it done. So he, he uh, compensated me with uh, some other stuff. So without further delay, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, this is uh, this book right here, The Fate of Blade. This was, uh, it came uh, with a book that I had ordered off eBay. So the guy, he threw it in free, as you see right there, freebie. So it's always good to get a free book. I haven't read it yet, but as you can see, he's uh, recommended for mature readers. So... Uh, I'm going to check that out, uh, see what it's all about, but that is the Fate of Blade number four. Uh, next up, we got Red Sonya number six. Uh, and this is the one that uh, I'd ordered off eBay and it came with the, the Fate of uh, Blade. So, um, I think I'm only missing number seven, and then I'll, and then I'll be complete with the, the Red Sonya. I think it was 15 uh, issues for her first uh, volume one. So, kudos on that. Uh, doesn't look too bad. If I ever wanted to get it graded, I'd go ahead and get it pressed a little bit and uh, go from there. Uh, let's see what we got here. Okay. And alrighty, so we're going to do this. There you see, another Journey to Mystery I got off eBay. Uh, number 98, graded at a 4.0. Um, this is his, getting historic. This is the first appearance of the human cobra. So kudos to that that I got this. But uh, I'm trying to get the rest of the Journey of Mysteries I need graded. So that way it's not no um, guessing on what the grade might be on that book. Because I know how some people on eBay claim that it's graded accurately. Or they're guessing it's good, very good and all that. So I just want to make sure that the rest of the Journey of Mysteries. There's only six. Count it, folks. Six left that I need that uh, I want to make sure that it's graded. Or if it's not graded and I'm looking at the pictures that it looks genuine, it's good to go and I can send it in immediately to get graded because I want to preserve those older books. And then my goal is to have my complete run of Journey to Mystery all the way to Volume 1 Thor. So that'd be issue 83 all the way to 502 graded. So that way my, those books are preserved. Uh, next up, I got uh, Journey to Mystery number 88. And this is the second appearance of uh, Loki. This is a CBCS, but uh, I'm going to send this in. Uh, call me crazy if you want, but I'm going to send it in, get it pressed, and then uh, send it in the CGC. So that way um, all my graded books are matching one company or whatever. Uh, you can call me crazy again if you want, but uh, it's just something uh, the OCD in me kicking in. Uh, that's wanting uh, to get that done but like I said 3.5 looks like it might be a little bit better it is some writing right here on there a uh, little pin mark right there so like I said maybe a press here and there might help it and then you know might come up to a 4.0 we'll see um, I'll take before and after pictures that way we can see how much close the grading is between uh, CGC and CBCS uh, this, like I said, my boy Manny, he got me a New York Comic Con uh, guidebook because uh, he went to the New York Comic Con back in October, so I appreciate that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this, check it out. Uh, got me Avengers vs X Men uh, round three, but got it signed by J. Scott Campbell right there, the signature. on that. You got me a Hulk uh, number six, a variant, Red Hulk on there. It's pretty badass right there. I uh, got my variant Wonder Woman number one. Signed by Frank Cho, as you can see right there. And number two variant, signed by Frank Cho. So, thank you Manny, I appreciate that. Frank Cho, I love Frank Cho because I love the way he draws Wonder Woman. Uh, he threw in uh, a Hulk 200th anniversary. 
So I might go ahead. I might get this graded because uh, I like getting uh, them books 200th issue for some reason graded. I got my Batman 200, Batman Volume 1 200 signed by Neil Adams, and then got it graded. So I, I might do that one with that one. You know, uh, he also got me a souvenir program of the Ninja Turtles, drawn like the way they was back in the day when they first came out. So I like that. Thank you on that one, Manny. And then he got me the foil cover of He-Man and the Thundercats. So now I have the foil cover, the regular number one, and the variant number one, which uh, the variant number one has the villains on the, the front cover. So cool on that because I, I love some He-Man and some uh, Thundercats. I grew up watching that. So I was uh, very happy when uh, they, they decided to make a... Uh, uh, this comic and it's uh, done by Freddie Williams so kudos to that and then last but not least he uh, went ahead and took care of this for me this is a picture of uh, me and uh, Neil Adams he got a sign for me uh, this happened back in June of, uh, this year June 3rd matter of fact uh, the con in uh, Dallas it was uh, closing down for the day and uh, me and Marty, we was there together, and Marty walked up to him and said, Hey, Mr. Adams, you mind if I get a picture? He didn't seem too uh, thrilled. Somebody asked him that, so he, you know, said a couple of choice words. And then he quickly apologized because uh, Mason was standing there, my little five-year-old. So he quickly changed his tune. He took a picture with Marty. Uh, well, I took the picture, and then uh, he just said, Hey, come on over here and get you a picture, too. So Marty took the picture of me and Neil Adams. So I went ahead and got it signed. So the picture didn't cost me nothing. It was just a signature uh, that cost me thirty bucks. I, like I said, I sent it, sent Manny the money, and he got it done for me. So I will get that frame. So once I'm officially done with the army and get my man cave, that's all I, I keep talking about my man cave. So that way I can have a lot of this stuff uh, displayed uh, for everybody to view. But that's it. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, that Journey to Mystery run is. I got six more books and it's going to roughly cost me, I think I calculated about around about $775 to get the rest of the six books. So not bad. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to get the good prices and hopefully um, I get uh, most, most of them graded. That way I don't have to really deal with it. So um, click like, tell me what you think, comment. Come check us out on Facebook, Come with Kinetics. And uh, to all everybody out there, I hope everybody has a great uh, upcoming weekend. I know I'll, I'm still out in the field, so um, that's where I'll be at, and then, um, and that's it. So, till next time, I'm out.